everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a tutorial over this look right here. This is for the Champion by Carrie Underwood. It's the last one from Cry Pretty, so we are moving on to the next one, and I'm very excited about it. I love these. Okay, I love doing a little tutorial, but having like a spin on them. Like, I think those are, I think the music makeups are probably my favorite videos to film next to hauls. I love to film hauls, but I don't really film that, that often, but I really like these. Um, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and help me reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. Give this video a big thumbs up, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos, and let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to take the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer and Prime my eyelids today. Guys, the High Pony is back. You guys think she left, okay? No, she did not. It's High Pony or Die, okay? For real. I live, live for the high pony. Always have since I was literally a little girl. I always lived for the high pony. And when I had really long hair before I cut it, uh, God, 2018, I only, ever, only ever wore a high pony. Never, ever did I wear a low pony. Because, you know, that just wasn't my vibe. But, hi, Pony. It's back, baby. Uh, I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette today. I did a review over this a long time ago. It's very cringy, but I did I did film it. So, it is up on my channel somewhere. But, this is what this palette looks like right here. It's a warm tone palette. My lights are kind of washing it out. There we go. Um, I feel like my lights, this looks very you know true to color very natural but the shadows always seem to get a little bit washed out so i'm just gonna kind of like that i mean you guys get the vibe right i'll have it linked down below but it's a little bit washed out slightly that's a little bit more true to color right there um but i really love this palette i haven't used it in a while but it's one of my all-time faves so i'm going to take the shade orange soda which this one right here i'm gonna use that as my transition color today Anastasia makes one of my favorite, favorite eyeshadow formulas. And I really, really love their palettes. And I'm pretty, pretty happy I decided to film with this one today. Um, yeah, it's just a nice warm tone palette. There are plenty of warm tones out on the market. Um, you definitely don't have to have this palette if you don't have it to recreate this look. But... That's just what I'm going to use today. And I'm just gonna put that in the crease. Okay, so what I really like about this look is it's pretty simple. Um, I feel like the last couple looks I've done have been pretty simple, they've all been pretty basic. This one, my ponytail's slipping. Um, <laughs> this one is pretty simple with the colors and I guess the technique as well, but it can be a little bit intimidating because we are using black today. So I am just gradually getting there. So this is a little bit of a tip. Um, I personally don't like to start out with black right away. I think it's a little bit too scary and it can be a little bit difficult to blend. So I like to just gradually build up. So I'm gonna take the shade Burnt Orange, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna put that in my crease to deepen it up. It gives a little bit more dimension and adds to that blended effect, but it also gives me a nice base and barrier for that black shadow. So I'm just going to put this directly in the crease and then blend up like normal just not doing really anything anything special but I like to have layers when I'm doing any look but especially if I'm going to be using black it can make it a little bit easier to blend and I'm gonna keep that original brush with orange soda nearby because I will definitely use it to continuously blend out so I'm going back and forth between those two brushes believe it or not these are two different brushes just blending upwards then we will take the shade sienna which is this one right here and i'm going to put that in the crease as well again deepen it up it's the same exact step just going a little bit deeper you can even go a little bit more so if you aren't too familiar with black and you want a little bit more dimension you could totally just work your way all the way down to that black I don't really want to use that many shades today, so I'm not going to, but you definitely could if you wanted a little bit more practice or you didn't even want to go with the black, you just wanted to use dark browns, you could do that as well. So it's doing the exact 
same thing putting it in the crease and then blending up i'm not blending up as high and then going back in with this this part is pretty fast i mean really just getting the crease work the crease work is pretty pretty fast it's the outer corner which actually takes a little bit of time it's not long by any means but it does take a little bit of blending then i'm going to take the shade glistening which is this one right here the anastasia shimmers are one of my favorite favorites to work with i absolutely love them so i'm going to take this and i was debating between actually all three like the goldy bronze shades in here but i picked glistening and look at that look at that pigment like can you see that i know i didn't zoom you guys in all the way i've been having some issues with my camera when i zoom in so that's why we didn't go in this far today sorry hopefully you guys can still see okay um yeah so i'm just gonna take that i'm gonna put that on almost the whole lid i'm gonna leave like the last third bare because that's where that black is gonna go so then we're gonna take noir which is the black in this palette and put that on the outer edge and blend it in like i said if you prefer brown i prefer dark brown to black i think it just flatters my eyes a little bit more but i've been using black recently for tutorials but i would normally use cypress umber which is the dark brown in here i normally would not even bother with the black so i'm gonna put that on blend it with glistening and then we will zoom out and do the face time i'm going to use this this is the sephora hyaluronic acid brightening eye cream and i'm gonna put that on my under eyes just a little bit not putting too much i just stuck my whole finger in that um just putting a little bit on to you know prime the area basically i like to do this before i wear makeup i know this technically is a skincare product but i like to put it on underneath my eyes before I do my makeup. I think it moisturizes the area very, very well. I actually haven't used the Sephora one all that much. It's relatively new to me. I will link the video where I try the new Clean It Sephora makeup up in the cards in case you haven't seen it. But um, I do really like the Murad one. That one I've used quite a bit on my channel especially so then i'm going to take the wet n wild water drop primer this is the coconut one i really like this i've used this quite a bit on my channel and i like it a lot it smells like cat litter but the product itself is very very nice so i'm gonna take that and blend it all the way around it it smells like cat litter like that clay No, that's what it smells like for sure i'm just gonna blend that out i mean the finish it gives to my skin is beautiful like i love the glow it gives so i deal with the cat litter smell it's it goes away and it's not like dirty cat litter but it does smell like cat litter it has that clay like smell and if you don't like that you may not like this primer but i like the primer itself um quite a lot actually so i keep it around for that reason i like it and you know it smells a little like cat litter but that's okay so my camera might die before i get to finish this step and if that's the case i will just put a new battery in and we'll start up but i'm gonna put on the l'oreal infallible pro glow foundation this one's in the shade 202 creamy natural i tried this in a video not so long ago it wasn't super recent but it wasn't super long ago either um i can find that video and link it up in the cards as well if you haven't seen it but I'm gonna put this on my face.
my battery did die. So I'm going to put on the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. This one's in the shade Porcelain. And I'm going to pop that on. I'm also going to set that. Doing something that I have not done. Literally, I think I haven't done this since before I started my channel, maybe. It's been years. And that is, I'm taking the e.l.f. Contour Palette. This one's in the shade Light. I will also use this as a contour later. And I'm going to mix those top or bottom two, I guess. These two shades together to set my under eyes. I originally saw Jaclyn Hill do this with like MAC products years ago. And I mean like years, years, years ago. And I didn't have MAC products. I didn't have any high-end products actually at that time. And I did have one of these. It was not this exact one, but I did have one of these. So I used those two things. And I did that for probably a good close to a year before I stopped and I wonder why did I stop so I thought about just pulling this out and doing that today so that is actually what we are going to do today concealer then set and I'm going to do that in that order to try to prevent as much creasing as possible I'm assuming I stopped doing that because it doesn't really look that great, but um, I mean it worked so That's what we're doing. I don't think I need to set that foundation. I might just set it a little bit This is the elf beautifully bare finishing powder in the shade fair light. It's a very light. I mean bare beautifully bare um, Powder I'm gonna just set my face very very lightly with this Right, so now I'm gonna take that same palette. I'm gonna contour using the shade right here. I feel like I pulled out a different bronzer, but I feel like I've already used the other two shades. I might as well just use this to bronze as well. Um, so I just might go ahead and do that since I mean I can. I don't typically bronze with the e.l.f. palette. I usually just use it for a contour, but I can use all four shades. I just don't really do that a lot often but I might do it today just because you know it's one less product to link <laughs> and I have already used the other shades so I might as well use this as well the bronzer I did pull out I do like though it was the in case you're curious the Winky Lux coffee bronzer in the shade Latte it looks like this um there are similar colors the elf one's just a little bit more orange um, undertone but the elf one's also much lighter so if you're new to bronzer I would highly highly recommend it I do love this contour though it's the perfect shade for me I'm a little crazy on that side um, it's the perfect shade for me and I like the more soft blend out contour look which you can achieve very very easily with this and I mean I went way far on this side so we're probably gonna have to fix that because that is very far so we'll just take a brush or a sponge and just tap it out you can still see it but I mean 
I have really fat and round cheeks anyway, so I mean, it's still gonna be, <laughs> they're still gonna be noticeable regardless. So I'm gonna go ahead and bronze uh, using this shade as well. So I've just used everything in this palette. Um, this palette is about four or five dollars, I think. It's not too expensive, which is another reason why I really like it. It does not break the bank, which I love and appreciate. So we'll use, oh my God, do you guys remember when I used to bronze with these? <gasps> we'll use one of these. We'll go back, we'll throw it back. Okay, so I adjusted my light a little bit. I think that's actually a little bit more true to color. Let's see. Yeah, so I turned um, one of my ring lights down just literally like the smallest bit. I think that's a little bit better. I'm not as, as washed out. So, um, now that I have that out of the way, I'm going to put this on. This is the City Color B Matte Blush in Guava. I don't think City Color is a brand anymore. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but I was trying to find some of their stuff online the other day, and I couldn't find anything i really like this blush so i hope that's not true because i really love this blush and for the longest time it was my favorite blush ever it was the only one i would wear and at the time that was a big deal because it was for me it was a very crazy color even though it's not really that crazy but for me it was something way out of the box so i'm just gonna put this on i love this blush i don't think i will ever get rid of it honestly no matter how old it gets um Got minimal creasing, which is good. And for highlights, I'm taking this. This is the Cody Airspun Loose Face Highlighter in the shade Snow Much Ice. This is a very affordable highlighter and it is blinding. see that highlight like it did not come to play games i love this highlighter i know a lot of people are iffy on the brand cody airspun but if you're gonna pick anything up from them this is a hit i mean look at that the smallest amount goes very very far i don't even dip into the actual product i just take whatever is on the cap because i mean like right now it's full and it goes a very long way so that is all i do and now i'm going to do the lower lash line this is going to be very very easy and usually my lower lash lines are so if you're familiar with my channel um, my lower lash lines hardly ever i think maybe one video are ever really detailed and super complicated but that's just how I like to wear my makeup, okay? But this one's gonna be very easy. I'm not gonna put the black on the lower lash line. I don't want it to be super, super smoky down there. So I'm just going to take Sienna and Burnt Orange, which are these two shades right here, and I'm going to put those, I was gonna say those, but those under my lower lashes, just nice and tidy. I like that you can definitely do the black if you want to I just didn't want to make it super super smoky it would be gorgeous though it kind of be similar to some other looks I've done in the past which I mean if you want to go watch them they're very very cringy and I'm pretty sure I'm filming on my phone at the time but I mean hey they are there yeah, we started filming with an iPhone and now look at me 
Okay, just blend that out. Nice and neat like that. Okay, so shove those brushes back where they go. I am going to highlight with the shade Tempura. I think I still haven't figured out how to say this name, but it's a very pretty shade. It's in a couple Anastasia palettes, I believe. I think it's in Norvina. I'm gonna have to look because now I can't remember. And it's gonna bug me. I'm pretty sure it's also in Norvina. So it's in another Anastasia palette that I know. So is it Modern Renaissance? Yeah, it's Modern Renaissance. So it's in Modern Renaissance as well. Thought it was Norvina, but it's not. It's Modern Renaissance. Um, yeah. So in case you were wondering, like me, it's Modern Renaissance. I just thought I would throw that in here because it was driving me crazy. I couldn't remember what palette was in. My arm is so itchy. And my shirt came from Spencer's, and I'm sorry. <laughs> it came from Spencer's. Um, they had like a buy one, get one or something, and I'm pretty sure it was free, so that's, I love free things, so yes, please. I am going to very quickly do my brows using the Urban Decay Brow Blade. This is in the shade Brown Sugar. It's my favorite thing in the entire world, and now that my hair is blue, it's not really gonna match, but you know what? It'll match my eyebrows, so. It's okay. My eyebrows are like a dirty, dirty, dirty blonde. This is the Illuminati Cosmetics uh, Gel Paint Electric Pink Eyeliner. I got this in a box of charm. I was gonna just do like a black, but I think I'm gonna do pink just to be a little fun, and then I'll put the Tarte Tardis Lash Paint Mascara on while I'm, while I'm doing it. I'm going to take the Pure On Point lip liner in the shade Loki, and then put on the Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick in Primrose. This is one of my favorite lipsticks ever. I love it, and I've actually already sharpened this lip liner because I'm a genius. All right, everybody, and that is it for the champion. That means that is it for Cry Pretty. I know, another one done. Um, I will start my next one my next upload day which i believe is tuesday um i'm pretty excited about it i've had it planned for a while i'm very excited about it you guys are probably like i think i know what it is but that's okay um yeah that is it for this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and you know help me reach my goal of 1000 subscribers hit my notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos and i will see you in my next video